story that has come and gone in the past 24 hours, the news business actually buried the lead. Maxine McHugh, you know, the lady who used to work for the ABC, and then she unseated John Howard as a Labor MP in 2007. She's written a book, not about her entire life, not about her many decades of broadcasting. No, she's written Tales from the Political Trenches, a must-read book, apparently, about her three years in federal politics. One term, three years. Now, in it, I presume there's going to be a lot of conversation about the things that she did or didn't do on the behalf of the people of Benelong. OK, that's the first three chapters. What's the rest of it? Well, as you would have heard over the weekend, apparently there is quite a scathing attack on Julia Gillard and the plotters who'd been planning for a long time to tear down the beloved Kevin Rudd. Now, there's a couple of things that I find ridiculous about this scenario. One, why is she writing a book about a three-year political career? I don't quite understand. And then there's the second part, which is, who's going to buy it? Now, obviously, we're going to talk about it, and no doubt there'll be plenty of interviews with her, and no doubt there'll be lots of bucketing and leadership speculation, and here we go again about how Kevin Rudd lost his job a couple of years ago. But seriously, who is going to buy this book? Apart from friends and family, I can't imagine that there are that many expectant mums and dads who are waiting for Christmas morning, desperately hoping that their kids gave them that book they've always wanted. No, 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 it's not Michael Clarke's latest tour diary. It's Maxine McHugh's book about her three years in Parliament. Seriously? And then there was this garbage from Kevin Rudd, who just turned up at a cultural festival in Western Sydney yesterday. For uh, anyone to accuse um, a prominent journalist uh, such as Miss McHugh of uh, not being able herself to write her own book um, is, I think, um, verging on sexism. I think um, you're full of it. How is it sexist to suggest that Maxine McHugh mightn't have written her book? I think it's a whole series of other words before we get to sexist. It might be nasty, it might be untrue, but just because Maxine McHugh is female doesn't mean to question whether she wrote her own book is an act of sexism. That word we will talk about a lot this, after, uh, this evening because, of course, the opinion polls, they went well for Julia Gillard. But could we settle down and stop pretending that this is the single most important political book of the year? The woman was in Parliament for three years and many of the people who voted for her in 2007 deeply regretted it by about halfway through 2008. In their view, they corrected an error of history by voting her out in 2010.